Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a before and after right here in Photoshop. So, I'm going to show you the before and after and probably it's a bit too much but it was just I've done this just for fun just to show you on this tutorial. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my crop tool make sure I'm on ratio and uh, once we've got that you can see right here I'm just going to zoom so you can see we have this dot so this is the center of the image so what I want to do is I want to get this center of the image right here on the edge so I'm just going to drag like so until the center of the image and now I let go and accept the changes so we added some extra canvas to the existing image however we still can't see before and after. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to press Control J or Command J on a Mac, or if you'd like, you can drag it, this layer into new layer icon. And I'm just going to move it to the top of the layer stack right here on the panel, and select the Move tool, pressing this or the V key, and holding Shift you just drag to the side and the reason why you hold shift it makes sure that it stays in the same position because otherwise it will go like all over the place and I let go and there you go we have a before and an after uh, but there's another way so I'm going just to undo this like so so the other way is I can come here into image canvas size and right here we have now this small window and first thing I want to do is I want to create an empty area right here on the before area if you'd like so I'm going to press the opposite right on this arrow so as you can see now I'm going to have the empty area on, on the before area if you want to call it the before area I'm going to change from centimeters to percent and because I want to add double the width I'm going to put 200 instead of 100 I click OK we added some canvas we go back to the background layer duplicate the layer move it to the top and uh, holding shift and I just drag to the side and now we have before and after that's it for now thanks for watching see you next time bye for now